I think the show's really relatable in the sense that like the uh, the 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 the, the family themselves, you know, they, they are kind of like everybody when, you know, people have children and then they're like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this baby? I have no idea what I'm doing. And that like imminent panic that kind of ensues. And, you know, they really have no idea what they're doing, but all they know is that they love the child and they hadn't planned to do it. So they, you know, they're kind of figuring everything out as they go along. And, and I think everybody really feels that way kind of deep down that they're gonna be figured out that they have absolutely no idea how to raise a child, no matter how prepared they are. These people just really aren't prepared. <laughs> Sabrina is kind of the voice of reason. Um, she's, you know, in the pilot, kind of the dubious lady in the grocery store. And um, naturally, since Jimmy has to shop a lot for baby food and diapers, I think they end up seeing quite a lot of each other. And, and there's something, you know, he's so endearing, Jimmy. Like, there's a real sense of, like, earnesty in his... Um, caring for everyone and how interested he is in, in kind of making people happy. And um, and so in the next couple of episodes, you know, there's some really cute, silly interactions in the grocery store as he kind of like attempts to flirt and make an actual connection with her. And, you know, through those conversations, she introduces Jimmy to her cousin, who is a professional babysitter who may or may not have a tooth that's dying or dead already. I think what's really great about Sabrina is that she's completely unjudging. Like, um, and I think it seems like she's had maybe a more uh, ideal family, or what you know maybe Virginia would consider ideal. Like, kind of more together and picturesque, and seems like maybe maybe she didn't think that that was the best thing in the world, and maybe envies, you know, the chance families, you know, openness with each other, and that they're not afraid to be themselves. It seems everybody's got kind of a different view of parenting or, you know, what's good for kids or what's not good for kids. And, I mean, I think, you know, really, aside from, you know, safety, the importance of education and, you know, I mean, love is really what seems to be the most important thing to me about a child, which, you know, is the one thing that I think the Chance family does very well is they love this child and they loved their son and he's a good person for it. You know, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he really cares about the baby.